Hey everybody, welcome back to Plum Figgy. This is Tammy. All right, so part two of our 2020 uh, December daily uh, video series. All right, so um, as you saw in the last video, I went ahead and started gluing some of the pages that were the fold down um, tuck spot pages. I went back and forth in my mind, <laughs> which is not, not a new thing. <laughs> Happens more often than I'd like to admit. Um, but no, I went, I, I thought about it and I, in the end, decided not to pre-decorate because I think I want my December daily to truly show my mood changes throughout the month. And so part of my mood changes are going to dictate what my, and the prompts, uh, what my background papers will be. Um, so yeah, so that I, I made that decision. So I'm just gonna put this to the side because we're not gonna need that for just right now. Um, so, as you see here, <laughs> I've got quite a big grouping of papers. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to use all of this, but um, let me kind of walk you through the different kinds of um, digitals and print-offs that I've got. So, this is, I uh, just did a bunch of the digital kit. Oh, this is more than just music. Okay, so um, I had purchased that digital kit of music, uh, Christmas music, and so all I did was I took them and split them in into two on one page. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm trying to talk too much here. Okay, so just did two on one page, and the method behind that, or the thinking behind that is, I do think I have something wrong with my yellow printer head. This is awfully yellow. I might have to dye that or something. Um, but my thinking of this is, uh, these are going to make great background pages. Um, so like I could stick one of these onto here and then, um, use that as a background page to add my collaging or whatever it is that I wanted to do, um, for that day. And so, um, beyond that, I had gone through and found a bunch of other copyright free images that I had downloaded. So that's kind of what these are. Um, all of these are going to be basically background pages um, or used as background pages. And then here is, let's see, this is from Victoria Designs. It's um, some grunge, grungy, grungy writing paper grungy something kind of paper and I did the same sort of thing where I took two images and put them onto one page um, so that they're a little bit smaller and that they would fit a little bit better um, so <laughs> music I yeah I have a lot of music <laughs> it's just gonna be a thing so um, it's part of who I am uh, so that is gonna be a lot of my background papers. Um, I printed off another one of these from my porch prints. This is just um, some of her uh, Christmas words. Uh, so I'll use that throughout. Uh, here are some images that you guys have seen, um, but larger. I was having printer issues like crazy. I don't know how, if you can see those lines there. Um, I printed several of these and maybe because they were just so dark, I don't know what the problem was, but uh, got some of the favorite images that I have been using and just made them larger, again, two to a page. Um, maybe some that you haven't seen yet. So I'll use these as part of collages as well. So yeah, there's like lines in there. Uh, this one was the best of the ones that I printed off. Um, I just decided I'll have to put a sentiment there or something. I don't know. Um, this one's really not good. I don't know why I even kept this one. Uh, I think I need to change some of my printer heads or something and reprint some of these. But um, 
So some of these you may not have seen. <laughs> this I am obsessed with these. I haven't bought any yet, but uh, I think maybe these I found on Etsy. No, this was this was from the copyright free images. Again, um, same with this little cute little birdie. And I guess I got him twice. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> so uh, they'll probably make an appearance somewhere. Um, and then this is... I, I've had this for a few years. I know this is a copyright free image because I was looking on the New York Public Library's copyright free image um, database this morning searched Christmas and this one popped up. So this one must also be, um, maybe that's the Rockefeller Christmas tree. I'm not sure. Uh, here we have another horse with Santa in tow. <laughs> uh, yeah, these are copyright free images. So just some various, uh, probably more, um, decorations with, um, for days that maybe I, I don't want to do a whole lot, um, or I can add more to the top of them. But there were some of these images that I just absolutely loved that I really, really wanted to incorporate in my uh, December daily this year. So that's this. Now, this is, and again, you've seen some of these. This is some images from other printables that I've uh, used, which I just absolutely love. So um, let's quickly go through some of these. So I didn't print off all of these because truthfully I don't love all of them. And like I said, I may not use all of these. Uh, I'm not real big into the deer and things like that. This one I accidentally printed. I didn't realize these were cartoon deer. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't look close enough. So if I use these, it'll be probably like that much. <laughs> I'll do something with it. Um, and then Victoria Designs, uh, they had a Black Friday sale <laughs> and I took advantage. <laughs> so I've got a lot of their stuff. Um, but, uh, this is one of their, um, housekeeping, I don't remember how they call it, uh, organizing files. So, uh, but what I liked from this is just the file folder aspect. And I just grabbed that whole kit and printed everything from it. So I may not use all of that, or these could be background for, um, journaling cards or something. So, but again, I, there's like this weird yellow tint, which I'm not loving. Um, I need to have my printer looked at, but, uh, there's those. I'll probably have to dye those at some point too. So this is also Victoria Designs. Um, this is another one of their printables. Both of these are two different printables. I just love these snowflakes. They look 3D, which to me is really cool. Um, and then these I thought would be cute to use as decorations, um, throughout the journal. And then here is, uh, let's see. I wanted to keep these separate, so I'll put these this direction and I'm going to put them upside down. So, okay. So I probably won't use this. This was just part of one of their kits that I printed off. It's called... The cutest, the cutest Christmas digital kit or something like that. Uh, let's see, maybe it's printed on here. No, but again, this is by Victoria Designs. Um, again, I don't know that I love every single one of these. Um, the cutesy, I mean, it's cute, but I don't know if I'll use it or not. I may cover that with something else, but I do love this which is part of that kit. And then, you know, there's things like that, little elements that I'll, I'll pick and choose from. Um, let's see. Here's, here's what I was really, so I really like these. I like the idea of these. Um, I need to go faster. It's going to take forever. <laughs> Um, so yeah, again, I don't know that I'll use all of these, um, they're, 
This one's a repeat, but this one's really pretty. Um, so anyway, so there's that kind of an idea from Victoria Designs. Uh, yeah, and then these are the larger sheets that I probably should have done these two to a page as well. Uh, like this one, it's really pretty, but I don't know. I think it might be too big because like, oops, here is my book for comparison. <laughs> so if I used part of it, it would only be probably a small portion. Um, but yeah, there's some really pretty, really pretty designs in there. I'm not big on dream catchers. It's just not something I've ever really looked into. So I probably won't use that one. So anyway, um, and then what else? Oh, this is by Elopa and it's called Christmas Tags. And if you're interested, that is her Etsy shop. Um, and then I noticed down here it says for personal use only. So buyer beware. <laughs> uh, but I thought, again, these would be kind of good for just um, randomly adding throughout. Um, more so I bought it for this kind of stuff. This is all from um, a different kit, which is also for personal use only. I really like that. I really like this. So, um, and then I really liked these numbers. So I may use these for my uh, counting each day. Um, and then this, <laughs> these images were really fun. So just, you know, old images of Christmas and I'm sure we've seen some of these before. They're probably not new to people. Um, these two pages were also from Victoria Design. Uh, honestly, I may reprint them four to a page um, because they're a little large, but actually they're they're really cool. And I just thought I just thought they were cool, so um, I'm fancy. So I thought, you know, hey, print it off. Let's see if I use it. Uh, these are the Christmas snow birds or birds in snow or something by Ephemera's Vintage Garden um, from 2011. Whoa, they've been around a while. So I've used these already to this year, but um, just as a reminder. And then I know I've shown you this too, but this is a different uh, printable uh, from a different vendor. And I'll, I'll have all these linked down below. I mostly love her. She's just awesome. Um, but I just reprinted the entire uh, printable again, um, just in case I want to use any or all of these somewhere. You can see this obviously was found on a copyright free website and two different people have used it. I've been noticing that too, as I've been perusing those websites myself. Um, I really love this page. It's really, pr oh, it's mistletoe. Cool. I hadn't noticed that. Okay, so then this is the one that was really making me scratch my head because I absolutely have fallen in love with the designs of these, but it's so different from what I'm used to using. It's very busy, which for me is, it stresses me out a little bit. <laughs> I, I sometimes have a reaction to things that are just so busy. Um, which I think is why I keep my journaling kind of a little more simple sometimes. I, I'll admit, there are times when I've been, I've gotten real busy too. But anyway, this is by, oh shoot. Oh, I knew I was going to forget. Okay, now I need to look. Sorry. These printables are from uh, Antique Papery. And I discovered their shop... I don't even remember a couple weeks ago and they have a whole section of their shop of discontinued or I don't know if that's exactly how they're named but they're like a whole printable kits for 69 cents or less than a dollar so I went a little crazy <laughs> and I bought a whole bunch of different kits um not just for Christmas but just a whole bunch of different kits um and then I went back and I bought more <laughs> another time but like you can get a whole bunch of stuff for like less than ten dollars so anyway so uh various and I absolutely just I love I adore this and then these are again I took the and both both of these these were full page 
that I then took and did two to a page um, on my computer. So, uh, but yeah, I, I am definitely going to be using some of these. And um, like this one I repeated, but I, I needed another one to put with there. But they're busy, but it's gorgeous. So, um, yeah, again, this one, this one's a repeat and this one's a different one. So I wanted to use these uh, throughout as well. This is from a kit called Winter in Victoria. Um, and um, I just, I, I, here we go, Winter in Victoria. Uh, so, yeah, I, I don't, again, I don't think I'll use all of them, but... Uh, I can't use all of them, but I just think they're so pretty and I, I had to figure out a way to incorporate them. Here's some of the full page designs. I love the little orange with the rose. I mean, you know, the colors are gorgeous. I, again, I have a, I guess a printer issue with my yellow. I'll, I definitely need to figure that out. Um, I don't know if I'll use this page or not. To me, this is just a little busy, but for no reason. Like, at least this is busy, but there's places for your eye to rest. Um, and this is no different from any other kind of, you know, paper pad. All the papers are kind of like that. But for me, I I tend to lean more towards this kind of a, a thing. This is cute. It's got ho-ho-ho in the middle. Um, but again, I need to cut off this much of it. Like the whole rest of it, I don't want. <laughs> Just give me a little section. Um, so anyway, uh, or like this, this is gorgeous. I, I would totally see this as a full page in my journal. Uh, and then this on the other side or something maybe. Um, but yeah, this is from their winter in Victoria set. Uh, oh, and then this is from a different uh, printable from theirs. Again, this was meant to be the full page, but I, did them as two to a page so that uh, they would fit better in the journal. So beyond that, um, I have created my December daily uh, list. And again, <laughs> I, I need to customize everything apparently in my life. Um, but this is from several different uh, other lists that I found. I just went to Pinterest and just searched December daily prompts. Um, there's some from I'm a cool mom. There's some from probably eight years back from different blogs. Um, and yeah, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna link those because, uh, honestly from Pinterest, it's a little crazy to try and link a Pinterest pin. Um, sometimes they don't really go where you want them to go. So, uh, I don't want to, do anything bad to anybody's computer by accident or anything by putting some weird link out there. But, uh, some of these too, I kind of just came up with my own thoughts, but, um, it's kind of a mixture of my favorite kind of recipes, uh, looking back at the year and crafty kind of things. So, um, or just things like number 20, which is just red or number 21, which is just joyous. So that kind of thing. Um, and then obviously I know there's only 31 days in the month, <laughs> but I figured if for whatever reason, I didn't want to do a couple of these, I had a couple others that I could pick from. And I'm not the kind of person that's going to go straight down the list in order. I'm going to, um, whatever I'm feeling that day, I'll pick um, from the list. So anyway, all right, there's, um, I guess, jur uh, journal, <laughs> video number two in our December daily, 2020 December daily extravaganza. <laughs> um, just kind of an intro into kind of the papers that I'm going to use. And yeah, so the next one, uh, I'm not sure if I want to do, uh, a a video every day or if I'm going to lump uh, several or maybe do one video each week and you can see uh, several from that week in the one video or two in a weekend. I'm not sure. I, I need to kind of think through that too. Um, I'm going to work ahead, I think. I know I shouldn't say that, but 
anyway um so anyway yeah i hope you're excited i'm a little feeling overwhelmed at the moment but i know as soon as i get started it's gonna i'll, I'll calm down and <laughs> it'll, it'll be good so all right i'll see you guys in the next video bye